Hello, this is AJ9BM, Josh. Uh, I'm here to show you the latest uh, D DXSR8 interface board that I've built. Uh, this lets me do full computer control of the Olinko DXSR8 transceiver um, from, you know, just a standard program um, running on a, on a, on, in this case, a Macintosh, but a PC would work as well. Um, so we have over here the DXSR8. It has some special pins in it for now. Um, so we've replaced the cord that normally goes from the radio to the front panel with a couple that go off to a sideboard. Let's put these pins back in. Um, this board has USB input to uh, an Atmega 32U4. This is used in a lot of Arduinos nowadays. Um, it has audio inputs as well as the radio and head unit input and output um, which uh, these go through isolating transformers all the serial lines go through opto isolators and a lot of work is done with relays so that if this is off you have full control through the head unit um, but if this is powered on control goes over to the PC so over here we have got the PC running, uh, this is actually a screen sharing program, the actual computer is down here, but its screen is very broken. Uh, if you look at one of my old videos, you'll see that. Um, and on the PC that's down there, we have a USB sound card, which you can see there. Um, it's one of those $3 jobbers from Amazon that has bad buttons. Um, and the uh, JT65HF OS 10 app, which is just JT65HF packaged for OS 10. Um, you can see here, this is our control panel for the front of the radio. Uh, we can tune. So um, if you look here, it says 7.1 megahertz, and 7.1 megahertz is over there. And now we'll go back to 20 megahertz, or 20, 20 meter JT65. Um, you can see that we're getting good signal in there. Um, we can up the squelch a bunch, and we should get... No, maybe it's just a real good day out there, huh? <laughs> um, oh no, that is off. So the, the audio tends to leak even with squelch, unfortunately. But um, So you can see this the squelch light is on over here, and as we increase the squelch, it goes off. But uh, the volume doesn't go away. We can change the volume, uh, make this thing saturate out. If we turn off smoothing, it's a bit more obvious that we're changing the volume. Um, and we have the ability to change RIT and IF shift as well, just like you would with the knobs on the front of the unit. Um, let's turn smoothing back on. So this gives us complete control. This is prototype software. It's a little bit awkward, but it does does do the job for the most part. Um, and here, let's see. It's too bad that we missed this. It would have been nice to actually show you guys transmitting um, pretty quickly. So we're going to watch this go for a little while, and then we'll cut back once we have a, a JT65 contact going. Looks like a good minute to come back to. Actually, I just noticed too, this is out of the shot. Okay, so let's try this guy. like a recorder concert from him.
Hey, there we go. Okay, that's pretty much that. So this is a uh, computer controlling the DXSR8 uh, with no modifications to the radio itself. Just this little board sitting between the head unit and the body. Uh, it's totally isolated, so there should be no ground loops or anything introduced by this component. Um, it is fairly easy to put together, I think. Um, I had to use one surface mount component so that I can expose two serial ports, one for the actual data control and one that's the serial port that is used for push to talk, um, which uh, sometimes is glitchy in the current firmware, but that's a separate issue. Um, that's just a matter of not tracking enough state. Anyway, so that's what this thing is. Um, seems to be working really well. I've only had it for two days now. I've only logged, this will be my, I think my third QSO on it. Um, I have been spending more time working on it than using it, but it is pretty cool because it lets me sit upstairs, I'm down in the basement right now, and use my screen sharing app to get down to the PC that's down here and uh, actually control the radio and do everything that I want to do from a more comfortable place. I'll probably have a kit of this available at some point in the near future. Um, I don't know, it depends on how much demand there is. I might also just publish the board board schematic and uh, bill of materials along with the source code, but uh, that one is a, a separate, uh, separate decision to make. It really depends on how much interest I hear from everybody out there. Anyway. That's my current project. Uh, I'm very happy to have it done. It's been, it turns out, five or six months in coming. Um, the, there's all sorts of goofiness in this radio, but uh, yeah. So that's about it. Uh, as I just said on JT65, 73, PJ9BM.